Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add and remove active class from the navigation menu items in your Blogger website. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a different style for each of these menu items when the page related to that menu item is open. So for example, if the about page is open over here, then we will have a different styling for this about menu. And if the services page is open, then we will have a different styling for the services menu over here. So in this way, you'll be able to know which page you are on right now. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's get started. Now this is a blogger theme that comes by default with bloggers. So if I go over here to theme, this is a theme that I have installed on my website the theme called Contempo but I have added this custom navigation menu for our blogger website and if you want to know how to add this custom navigation menu to your blogger website I have a video on that I will leave the link in the description of this video and you can do this with any navigation menu you have on your blogger template so you can install any blogger template you want and uh, you can add this uh, functionality to that template if it doesn't have that so right now we have this navigation menu over here. You can go ahead and change these menus to whatever you want. So if I go to the theme code, I'll go to theme and click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And if I scroll down to the header, so this is the navigation menu. So we have this nav element and in that we have an unordered list and in that we have the list items. So these anchor tags are the menu items over here so the first one is about we can see that we have about over here and this is the link of the about page right now we have everything set to hash but we need to update these links to the links of these actual pages so if you want to make changes in this you can just go ahead and change this uh, text to whatever you want and you can even remove or add new list items so go ahead and update this navigation menu to your needs according to the pages in your website. Now for this video, I'll just keep it as it is. We have about downloads, services and contact. So I have created some pages in our blogger website. So if I go to pages, here we can see we have contact, services, downloads and about us. So all these pages are created and I just added some dummy text in that. Now to create a new page, you can just click on this new page button and then fill in the details and then click on publish. So I have these pages created over here. Now let's go to the theme code and update the links of the menu items with the links of these pages. So I'll go to theme and then click on edit HTML. I'll scroll down to the menu items. So here let's add the links of the pages. So let's go over here and go to about us. And uh, we'll just right click over here on the view button and then click on copy link address and paste it over here in place of the hash. Now let's do the same with the downloads page. So right click copy link address and paste it over here. And we'll just do that with these two pages as well services. So copy this and paste it over here and lastly we have contact right we have updated all the links now let's save it and let's see whether it works so now let's click on the about menu item and here we can see we are taken to the about us page let's click on downloads and here we are in the downloads page and we have services and contact. Now when we are in each of these pages, we want to add a specific class to these menu items so that we can add a separate styling to that. So right now here we are in the contact page. So here for this contact menu item, we will add a class called active and we'll add some styles in our theme code. So first of all, let me show you how to add classes based on the pages. So let's go back to the theme code and for this we'll be using a blogger tag called b colon class. Now how the b colon class tag works in blogger is that 
Whenever we add that tag with a condition and a name, it will check for the condition and if the condition is true, then whatever name we have for that will be added as a class to the parent of the tag. So let me just write the code and then you'll be able to understand. So here we want to add the class to the anchor tag. So what we'll do is inside the anchor tag, we will add the blogger tag. So here I will type less than b colon class and we'll type name equals. So this is going to be the name of the class. So we will have a class called active. And then we need to add the condition. So we'll type cond equals and we will add single quotes and we'll close this tag over here. All right now let's add the condition. Now to check whether a page is currently open in your blogger website, you can use this condition called data colon blog dot URL equals equals and then add the link of the page. So I'll just add double quotes over here and we need to add the link of this page right here. So I'll just copy this link from here and paste it over here. Now this is how it works. Whenever you have this uh, data blog URL, which is the current URL of the blog as the URL of this page, which means if this current page is active, then we will add this active class to the parent, which is the anchor tag. So let's save this and uh, let's see whether the class is being added. So let's go to about and let's right click over here and click on inspect. And here we can see in the anchor tag, we have this class active added over here. Let's go to another menu and see whether we have the active class. So here we can see for the anchor tag, we don't have the active class. It is only added to the about menu item because uh, about us page is opened over here. When we open another page, so let's go to downloads. And now if we check the about menu item, we can see that the active class is not here. So now we know that it is working. Because when we have the about page, the class active is added to the about menu item. So now let's copy this same tag to all the other menu items. So copy this and paste it over here to the downloads inside the anchor tag. And just replace this with the link of the download page. And uh, Let's first of all copy this to all the other menu items. So we'll paste it over here for the services and here for the contact us page. And let's copy the link of the contact us page over here and paste it inside the condition. And the same with the services page. Right now we have added the if conditions for all the menu items. Let's go ahead and click on save. And uh, let's refresh our page. And right now here we are in the downloads page. So let's right click and click on inspect. And here we have this class active in the downloads menu item. Let's click on services. And now we don't have the active class for the downloads menu item. Let's go and check in services and here we have the active class for the services. So everything is working all right. Now the last thing we need to do is add some styles to the active class. So let's go back to the theme code and let's go to the CSS. So this is all the CSS for our menu item. Let's add some CSS for the active class. So here I'll just type my navigation container. That is the container division and in that we have the nav element and in that we have an anchor tag and we want to have a class called active and make sure that you don't have any space between a and active right here we will add a background color and we will set it to 03071e and we will set the color of the text to light gray and let's save it and let's refresh our page. And here we can see when we are in the services page, the services menu item is active. Let's go to the contact us page and the contact us menu is active. Let's go to downloads and downloads is active and let's go to about and we have about menu item active. 
Now when we hover over this, we have the hover effect of the previous styling. So let's remove that. So for that, let's copy this and uh, type colon hover. And we can add the same styles or I'll just copy this from here, cut it from here and add this over here. So here I will add a comma and uh, paste it over here. So now this should work. Let's save it and let's refresh our page. And here we have the about us menu active over here. And when we hover over this, we don't have the previous hover effect. So everything is working all right. We don't have any issues. Let's go back to the home page. And here we can see when you are on the home page, we don't have any of these menu items active. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.